Okay, now let's try the sound. So the speed is on one and you have to press this button and then hold that one. So without this one, this cannot be pressed. So one and Okay, the speed can be varied from here and there's a big difference between 1, 4 and 5, 6, so here it's pretty huge. So let's try it, hold those two buttons. So 5 and 6 is pretty noisy. In order to push it down, you have to move this one. So without this, you cannot push it down. But by moving that down and holding it because it's coming back. Now, okay, I fixed that one also. So push this one down. And then you can push everything down. It's pretty hard. Let's remove it from power. So that's the first step and then push everything down. If you release it there, it's locked down there. Now if I move this down, everything will come up. So this and it came up. This can be rotated. I can loosen this one. You can move that part up and down. It has a cut here, so it cannot be rotated. This part can be moved down. This can be loosened, but if it's rotating, then you have to push that red also. This machine is pretty heavy, so push this one. It won't totally enter, now rotate that one. Now the red entered more. And now you can remove this. The thread is pretty long. The knife comes there. Okay, now I used it a little bit, I made a little bit of dust here. So let's start from the beginning, make sure the cord is unplugged. So it looks like this, let's modify it. So first of all, let's insert the bit, this cutting knife. I loosen that one in the center, it looks like this. And insert the bit in the center. Open up that window, so insert it enters that much but insert it somewhere there and try to tighten it notice it's rotating against the rotation we have this red button so press that one and now tighten it hold that red button and get this tool and tighten it let's say that much the other one is smaller that cannot be used it won't go there this is okay. Now you can release that button, that one. This is just locking that one against rotation. So the knife was inserted. Now let's add this one. You can move that plastic up and down. And here it has a flat side. And with that flat side towards you, insert it there. It goes down. Lock it anywhere you want with this one. Now raise it up a little bit and lock it there. So it's pushed up. With the cutting knife inserted, let's push the entire machine down until the cutting knife reaches the bottom. So move this down and push everything down. The cutting knife is in contact with the ground. Now release it. And now it's so called zeroed out. So the cutting knife is in one line with this bottom plate. You cannot see it, it's not sticking out. 
Now let's adjust this part, this bar. We have these elements here with different heights. Now the bar will be in contact with that one. If you rotate it, it will be here and so on. Let's use this one because it's flatter. That is not that flat, it has a circular part there. So unlock that one and push down this one until there like so and now tighten it so this bar is in contact with the bottom and it's logged now this is in contact and the cutting knife is in one line with the base now we can adjust this side move that plastic down to let's say zero something like that and now if i want to cut in that part i cut in four millimeters down the depth to cut 4 millimeters once again, loosen this red one, move it up to let's say 4 millimeters and lock it. Okay, so we have a 4 millimeter gap between the bar and this rotatable thing. Now if I unlock it and push it down, then the knife will go out 4 millimeters. It will go down. To do that, turn it upside down, loosen it from this one. It's freely moving and push it down. It goes down to that plus four millimeters and release it from here. And now the knife sticks out four millimeters here. The height is four millimeters. If you want, you can close that one. If you want, you can attach that one against dust and just press this and that and it starts cutting. So let's try that one. The machine is powered, you can place it down onto this side. If this plastic is not attached, if it's attached, then it will stick out and you cannot place it onto that side. I have to cut that part. So four millimeters, it's already sticking out. It's moving that board, so I have to hold that one also. Take care not to lean it aside to a certain angle. This is almost at the minimum speed. It's on two. Make sure it stops before you put it down. And that's the cut we that just did. So it removed four millimeters. I moved it that way it has no led light if you close these will be filled up with dust your visibility will be reduced the same thing for that one you will need to clean the inside to see something and if there is not enough light you might not see too much plus there is a hole so everything is blocking the light from getting in so a light would be much better if, if there was one so this makes a fine dust so dust so let's try the vacuum cleaner's attachment. By the way, my vacuum cleaner has a smaller diameter to this one. So to attach this plastic, we have to move it up. So open it from this. It goes up. Close that one, not to break it. I already removed those screws. So it has these screws here and there. So introduce it. Notice the position of the screws here and there. So this vacuum cleaner's plastic is attached. This is dirty on the outside. Now you cannot put it onto the flat side because this one sticks out. So loosen it from this one and push it down again. And you should have the four millimeters here, that distance. If you don't use the vacuum cleaner, but the plastic is still attached, that one, 
for the vacuum cleaner and the dust is not going to a large distance so it is reducing the propagation of that dust to a smaller area but you will have to clean the inside of that glass because there is no vacuum to remove that dust and the visibility will be reduced if you put that one there you will see even less it can even reflect light plus the dust is blocking the light the visibility the plastic is a dust magnet and here's the final result this portion was removed by the router that's a 16 millimeter metal wood 